which Hi8 to DV pass-through method is best. In this video, I'll compare using a digital eight camcorder as a pass-through versus using a mini DV camcorder as a pass-through. Now for the benefit of people new to this topic of digitization of analog tapes, I'm gonna provide some context for the next 30 seconds or so, so you can skip ahead if you already know this. There are about five common ways to digitize analog videotapes. And by analog videotapes, I'm talking about VHS tapes and SVHS and beta even, uh, video eight, high eight. Now on the screen, you can see each of these five workflows. Starting from the top is what we'll call the SD capture workflow. This is generally the, uh, the method recommended at the digital FAQ forum. Uh, and there are some good SD capture devices and there are bad SD capture devices. So you have to pick wisely. Now next is the DV transfer workflow. And that's where you would use a mini DV camcorder or a digital eight camcorder or some other device to digitize the video. And that's what this video is about. Third is the, let's call it the HDMI workflow. And that's where you have something like the retro tank, which is probably the best device in this category. Next at the bottom left is an all-in-one VHS player with a DVD recorder built in. Now the quality is not as good as the other methods, but it's by far the easiest way to digitize analog tapes. And finally on the bottom right, you have the RF capture method. This is what the uh, VHS decode method is about. And what happens here is it intercepts the analog video signal from the tape head and it outputs the chroma signal and the luma signal separately, along with some space around the image that you normally wouldn't see in other captured uh, methods or even looking at it on your TV. And then it uses a time-based corrector software to output a final video that proponents say is as good or better than using the best hardware in the SD workflow at the top. Now for this test today, I've recorded new footage with a Sony TRV66 Hi8 camcorder, and I used this Fuji Hi8 tape. I made sure to press the exposure button at the back of the camcorder, and I recorded these two containers. I specifically chose this Tide Pods box because I wanted you to be able to compare the color on your screen with the container that you may have at home. Now this is the Canadian version of the Tide Pods, but I think the container color is the same in the US as well. For the first video test, we're playing the Hi8 recording in a Hi8 camcorder, and we're connecting it with an S-Video cable to the Sony TRV300 Digital 8 camcorder, and then we're outputting via Firewire to a Windows 7 computer running the WinDV software. And we did the same thing with the video on the right, except the video on the right is using a Sony TRV-17 mini DV camcorder as the capture device. By the way, these two uh, Sony camcorders were released in 2001. So I think whatever Sony DV stuff was inside was probably the same, but I haven't looked into seeing what chips or whatever were used. Now, I really couldn't see any difference between these two DV pass-through methods. Uh, the brightness contrast look the same. However, when I viewed the video of the flower stem, I noticed a slight difference. The digital eight footage on the left makes the, I don't know, the outline of the flower stem look darker. It's like a thicker black line. Maybe it also looks more pixelated. Now for the record, here is the media information for these two AVI files. As you can see, they both use the DVSD codec uh, and the bitrate is 24.4. So to conclude, I think that the mini DV pass-through does a slightly better job because the black line around the flower stem looks thinner, but in truth, this is, I think, a pretty minor difference. If you notice any other differences, uh, please leave a comment. For the next test, I played back the Hi8 tape containing the Hi8 recording on two devices. First, I played it back on a high camcorder, and in the other one, I played it back on a digital eight camcorder, because digital eight camcorders can play back not just tapes recorded with a digital eight camcorders, but they can also play back tapes recorded with high eight camcorders, and even a video eight camcorder. 
Now, if you look at the tied container, the outline seems to me smoother on the right, but it's, it's very close. Now in the flower scene, I think it's a little bit more interesting because when I pause the video in Premiere, I notice there's more, I don't know, noise, I'll call it, on the left than on the right. I don't know if these minor differences are related to the tape mechanism in one camcorder playback device than the other, or maybe it's just the added S video cable in the workflow that's causing these differences. Now, for the record, I'm using a, a monster um, S video cable. All right, I have one more comparison to share. Now, so far, we've been looking at the second workflow, trying to figure out which DV transfer device was better, a mini DV camcorder or a digital aid camcorder. And we concluded that it's pretty, pretty identical. But now I'm going to digitize the same high eight tape using an SD capture device from the first workflow. So on the left, representing method two, is a digital eight DV pass through. And on the right, representing method number one, is the ATI All in Wonder 9600 XT. Now I noticed two things immediately uh, that are pretty obvious. First is the color. The color of the Tide container is more orange on the right. Now if you have this product at home, I, I encourage you to pause the video, go get it, bring it to your screen and compare and see which looks closer to the actual color. Because to me, the one on the right looks closer. It's not, it's not exactly the same but it's more orange than red, in my view. Now, the second thing I notice is that the video on the left is brighter, and I think some detail is lost. And if look at the lid of the tied container. In a moment, I'm gonna um, adjust the exposure in Premiere. I'm gonna fix the video on the left so that I get some of those details back. There. Now you can see the tail has been restored. All right, now let's look at the flowers. Now, not surprisingly, the flowers on the right look more orange than the ones on the left, so that's consistent with the tide thing. But I also noticed there's more of a black line around the stem on the left. Now, if you notice anything else, please do leave a comment because I sometimes struggle to find these differences. So if there's something obvious that I'm not seeing, please do leave a comment. All right, so the conclusion, I think that if you digitize your analog tapes using the DV method, the second method that we talked about, I think the mini DV camcorder or the digital aid camcorder, I think they produce pretty much identical results. Now, if you have a choice of getting a digital aid camcorder or a high aid camcorder, I think for sure get the digital aid camcorder because not only can it play the high eight tapes just as well as the uh, high eight camcorder, but it can also play digital eight recordings as well, and also video eight recordings. Finally, in the comparison of the DV transfer method with the SD capture method, I think I prefer the SD capture method. I think the ATI did a better job with the color of the Tide container. Uh, there was that issue with the, the line around the flowers too. Uh, but I need to caution you about something. I was using a, a well-known, a very good, SD capture device, the uh, ATI 9600 XT, but there are a lot of very bad SD capture devices on sale at Amazon. And if you get one of those, not only are you not gonna get as good results as what I showed you on the ATI, but you're actually gonna get probably much, much worse results than the uh, the DV transfer method. So honestly, if the, if the choice is between a very bad SD capture device and a very good uh, DV capture device, like one of the Sony camcorders, then for sure the Sony camcorders are superior. Um, so just know that. Uh, it's, this is not a blanket statement about uh, SD uh, capture method. It really matters 
which device you get. As always, please leave a comment if there's something I missed. Uh, the comments I've been getting have been great. There's a lot of people who know a lot more about this than me, and I appreciate everything that you tell me because it just, uh, I think it helps me, but I think it helps all the other people reading the comments and watching these videos.